Hey, let's talk about the fat pads of the knee joint and how to identify the joint diffusion. In radiographs, the soft tissues and fluid are dense or wider as seen with the red arrow. Conversely, the fat, as shown with the blue arrow, is more loosened or slightly darker. There are three anterior knee fat pads. The best known fat pad in the knee is the infrapatellar fat pad, also known as the Hoffa's fat pad, which is located inferior to the patella and posterior to the patellar tendon. There are two suprapatellar fat pads. The anterior suprapatellar fat pad, also known as the quadriceps fat pad, which is located posterior to the quadriceps tendon, and the other one, the posterior suprapatellar fat pad, which is also known as the prefemoral fat pad because, well, it's anterior to the femur. And then there is the less well-known posterior knee fat pad, which is located posterior to the tibiofemoral joint. When you have a knee effusion, the fluid will accommodate at the suprapatellar space right between the anterior and the posterior suprapatellar fat pads. In fact, a large effusion will separate and displace both suprapatellar fat pads. And also, if large enough, will cause mass effect on the quadriceps tendon that will be displaced anteriorly. Keep in mind that this density at the suprapatellar joint may be caused by an effusion, but also synovitis, hemorrhage, or mass. In fact, some people call it a suprapatellar complex instead of an effusion, as we can tell for sure what is in the joint with a radiographic examination. Now you know. Thank you.